How important is Lubitz for Hollywood? I think he's very important because he the, there was a, a publicity line about the Lubitsch touch, uh, which was very unusual in America at that time, where most of the films were sold on their star value. Uh, Chaplin, who of course was both star and uh, writer-director, was a bit of an exception. Uh, but uh, by and large the directors were not uh, publicised by the uh, studios, but obviously they must have either sensed or had got uh, feedback that Lubitsch's comedies were uh, in themselves an attraction, and that is why he became not necessarily the first, but a early uh, director whose name was seen as valuable enough to use in the publicity of the film. And it's, a, uh, I think, an indication of uh, the, the way Hollywood was working, that uh, he should have been somebody who had uh, come to Hollywood as a mature uh, director from Germany, and uh, established himself in the film in the newly uh, talking uh, talk with talkies um, in the, in their very early days, uh, and, and nobody questioned that uh, he he didn't have the the right approach because he didn't understand English sufficiently well. The same thing also applies, in this case, to a lesser extent, to Billy Wilder, because uh, he was, of course, native-speaking German, uh, and although through his partner, Charles Brackett, he, uh, as a scriptwriter, uh, could have been corrected on his English, um, I, I think the truth is probably that uh, he uh, was the uh, uh, very consummate comedy writer, and uh, that, that uh, he, he very quickly mastered the uh, the English language to suit his talents.